Hello and welcome to this demonstration video where I'll show you how to configure the Brodersen RTU32 running as a DMP3 master. First I'll start by opening the Stratum workbench. I'll then add a new project, select where to save it, give it a name DMP3 master. Structure text, release build, the IP of the RTU32 runs as and DMP3 master. So now I need to configure the driver. This is done in the Feedbus configurator. I'll start by opening this, then right click, insert configuration. Oh, here I have my DMP3 master. Then right click, insert master port, call it DMP3. The serial, in this case, COM2, 9600, N, 8 and 1. Say OK. Then I'll add my data blocks. The session is 1. My master is 1. And the out station is 3. And we can just keep alive. Say OK. Now I can start by adding my variables. First I have a local remote, it's a binary input, point 1. It's a boolean type, Stratum will automatically create this for me. I'll add a new one, door switch, also binary, point 2. Boolean again. Number three, AC supply monitor. Number three, Boolean. DC supply monitor, point four. Then I have a valve position. It's a Double input, have this 2001. And in this case, because it's double one, I'll use the unsigned small integer. Then I'll add a flow, it's an analog value. And then I'll use the unsigned integer, add another analog value called temperature. 2004 and I'll have one command called output it's a binary output status and it's point number 3001 so and this will be a boolean now I have created all my variables then I'll just need to add my command. This is done by using the function blood block dmp3m underscore command bin issue a binary command. First I'll start by adding a variable command of the type dmp3 command bin. So now I can write command bin The first parameter is enable, I will call activate. I'll have the session number, in this case the session number you'll see it, session 1. The next one is the point number in was 3001, here. The next parameter is, is the function. He will be using the direct operate without acknowledge. And this is 5. The next one is the control, and in this case, we'll be using the pulse on. And this 
next parameter is the qualifier. In this case, we will be using the 16-bit index. So we have the two last ones are the pulse on, pulse off, and we'll have a T, 500 milliseconds per pulse on, 250 pulse off. So now I'll just add an activate variable so I can test my command. <coughs> Compile. Command bin, I made a mistake. It's just command. So now I can download it to my RTU32 to <coughs> stop the program current running. Then download it. See if we receive any information from the slave. See first local remote true the door switch and then the valve position the valve position like this and then the AC supply the DC supply and then I will change the analog value so here we can see it changing try send a command so everything is working as configured this was all for now thank you